Side-scrolling platformer games were a dime a dozen on the NES. Today, we pit two of the best platformers against each other, the Pink Puffball's first outing on a console and a game with a bit of an identity crisis. Today, Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, will decide which platformer sticks the landing and which falls from grace. It's Kirby's Adventure versus Super Mario Bros. 2 on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. Super Mario 2 versus Kirby's Adventure. This is a tough one, too. <laughs> this is a tough one, too. This entire bracket was just ridiculous. Oh, you hadn't even got to So, the, like, you know, I wanted, I wanted to say up front that we could have randomized this thing and made it a lot easier, but I feel like by putting these very similar, like, by making it harder, it's forcing us to have a better discussion to mm -hmm. make sure it moves forward. Yeah. I, I think that was the idea. We wanted to avoid... Somebody, Situations where we just be like, oh yeah, I like this game better. Yeah. Well, some people could argue like, well, then you, you know, your, your Mario Brothers one don't have a chance. Like right? Zelda versus Duck Hunt. I mean, right. come on. Right. Come exactly. On. Doesn't, Duck doesn't Hunt's make way any better. sense. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? He wouldn't listen. Or am I? He's okay. I, I, you know, I, I feel I, I, I have. This have you amazing, played the, the original this amazing Zelda? ability where I can just filter out BS? It's amazing. Uh, okay, so, right, so Kirby's Adventure versus Mario two. Let's let's we compare. Have, yeah. I think these are both side-scrolling platformer games. Mm -hmm. um, they're both kind of unique the way yes. they handle the platforming. Yeah, that's um, why I like this pairing. Kirby came out pretty late on the NES. It was actually, I believe Kirby was. I think it was ninety-three. The last NES game to come out, or was that Wario's Woods? I can't remember. One of those. It was one of them. But anyway, it came out pretty late. Yeah. I mean, I think the Super Nintendo was already out when when uh, Kirby One came out. Yeah, I said it was 93. Yeah, 93. Because Asha plays that game all the time. It shows like yep. how, how Labs. Yeah, 93. And um, uh, I think the big thing here is that Mario 2, you got to pick the different characters with the different feeling mechanics. Different, yeah, whereas different abilities. Kirby, you kind of got the abilities as you went. You get to eat the, you eat the bad guys. You yeah. get the copy abilities. And you can kind of... Customize your playthrough a little bit. Like you, if you're like, I don't want to play as the fire guy. I want the beam ability, well, and so I you want just the granddaddy, the UFO. The UFO is the best. Yeah. Let's get that out of the way. Um, we got to stay for the record too. This is Kirby's first showing. This is Kirby, Kirby first. Well, no, I think Kirby. Did he show somewhere else? He came out on the Game Boy. Did he? He first showed up on the Game uh, Boy, I believe. I don't care about that. But this, <laughs> this is his first. Concept. I know he's on the Game Boy. You don't play that during the day. Mm. I'm pretty sure it came. Yeah, out. you don't play that during the day. I said you don't play that during the day. So that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with, a, with that lime green on yeah. the screen. Man, dude, we are so spoiled these days. Uh, kids don't know. Unbelievably. Um, but I think... The, uh, so Mario 2 is linear. Mm -hmm. It's you beat a level, you move forward. There's warp zones, like yeah. in Mario 1, where you can move forward a little bit faster. Kirby's kind of But the Kirby way. has like a little overworld. A little bit. It has like a little over it's where you run and you get to go in the doors. You, I mean, go, you go to the museum. Yeah, you, you go, still you have to. Yeah, you still have to do the levels in a linear order, yeah. pretty much. That's what I like about Kirby is the mini games. The mini games. Now Mario Two had a mini game, yeah, sort of. The gambling. With the little game. Yeah. Jacob, you love gambling. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob well, I love how y'all create this narrative. Uh, well, I don't think that was in the last. Jacob recording. wants. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob wants spent. Hundred US dollars uh -huh. on loot boxes and Overwatch. That's not true. Uh, we're not talking about bad games. We're talking about good games. We're talking about the, some of the best games of all time. We're talking about Mario Bros. Two, man. I, I love Mario Bros. Two. I no, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I honestly, there's a special place in my heart because Mario Bros. Two gets a lot of hate in some of the community. Mm -hmm. And man, some of those mechanics, like being able to pull stuff up out of the ground, being able to d d dig dug the dig dug in a game where you go, you can dig. The oh sand yeah, yeah. To go Dude, down and not low. to mention Mario Two is the first place that we saw shy guys. Yeah. Sniff it. Yeah. Birdo. Uh, Birdo. 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 Dude, Birdo is in the Birdo. is in every Mario part. Well, not every like. And it's in a lot of Mario Karts and a lot of Mario parties. I mean, just Super Mario Party that came out, what, last year? Mm -hmm. Or was that last? Just last year. Birdo was in that. So Birdo's been a Dude, Birdo's in Mario RPG. Birdo's in all the, like, the sports games. Ref the refresh my memory. Okay, we'll get there. Go continue. Continue. Um, I'll save it. But I think visually, I think these games look pretty yeah, similar, they did. too. Yeah, I think, definitely. I think they both look pretty good. Um, I think the... The music and audio job. Yeah. Oh, both of them are good. Two is good. It had its own little flair. But Kirby, it's my again. My son hums that song. Or uh, the boss music. Yeah, I think it kind of laid the the groundwork for some of those iconic Kirby songs going forward. Boss fights, I think. 
Kirby's got that one in the Kirby's bag. Kirby's got a lot, lot of, of doubt. way more enemy variety in the yeah. boss fights. And, I mean, Mario 2 had, like, you fight Birdo, you catch the egg, yeah. you, you throw it at her, yeah. and it, you knock her out, and then you walk in that big, weird falcon head. Yeah. What is that about? <laughs> you did you know, yeah. you know one time where you had to fight it, and it, like, it comes, yeah, it off, comes the off the wall. Like, what the? That's terrifying. Yeah. It's like goosebumps when the mask comes off, they're floating around. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Somebody put that in. Boom, 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 boom. Put the falcon <laughs> the, head the, in. The, what's, uh, what's the guy? Fanto. Fanto. The Fanto mask. When you pick Whoa. up the key. You pick up the key. It's like V from uh, uh, v, v from, from Vendetta. Vendetta. Yeah, those are scary. I don't it was like, like V from the... I don't know. Anonymous with, dude. With, with, the, with the name in it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't like Fanto. Yeah. I was trying to say the name is in the movie. No, but I the, think, I think Mario Brothers Two is also kind of reinventing its mechanics by giving mm-hmm. you new obstacles in the levels. Like whenever yeah. you had to jump on that guy with the magic carpet and you throw him off and then you ride it across. Uh, you had, you had the door on some of those turnips that would, yeah. would send you to the alternate world to so get yeah, the to mushroom. The yeah, you get the coins so you can mm-hmm. spin them to gamble. Jacob's always getting them coins. <laughs> Uh, One time Kirk, I saw Jacob on the, but on Kirk, the blackjack table all day long at the LaBerge Casino. Uh, no one knows what that is. But the Kirby, <laughs> the Kirby mini games, like the crane game, yeah, which is totally rigged. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, the 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 catch the eggs and then the Western. That gets intense. Sir. The Western, I like the Western. That's how it started there in the mm-hmm. entry, in a, yeah. adventure. The, uh, because it was that version in the, in the um, SNES. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the samurai, samurai. Uh, samurai. Yeah. Uh, samurai. Uh, samurai. Uh, uh, but what about the? Uh, isn't there like a jump one where you jump up to the the thing? No, not, or, not an adventure. What am I thinking of? That's an. It must be yes, yeah. It's not an adventure. There's one where like you, you go down, and you jump, and you land, and you get whatever's on there. Uh, yeah, it had, it had the crane game, it had the museum, which is where you could you could pick a, a bad guy to, to absorb. It had the uh, the western shootout, and it had the egg, egg catch egg catch music. Which really one fun. do you think is more revolutionary? Do you Ooh, think Kirby? Kirby? Gotta Kirby. be Kirby. The, Kirby brought in a brand new way to play. It was pretty different compared to yeah, everything else, dude. Yes. I was Flying, saying the copy ability. The Flying mechanics, the mechanic stuff that's going on in that game behind the scenes is just pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the bad, the, the one bad thing against Mario 2 is that it's not even really Mario 2. It's Doki Doki Panic. Yeah. And because us Americans are too stupid to play Mario, the real Mario Brothers too. too. So they took that game. I think everyone knows that. Too uh, stupid to play that game. But uh, the lost levels that we got on the Super Nintendo is the real Mario too. So this isn't even really a Mario game technically, yeah. but they it fits. It yeah. fits. I, I, by the way, I always play as Luigi. I think Luigi is the best character. I like Princess, but everybody does. Cause hey, and that's another it. thing. Mario 2 kind of set yeah, in... Yeah, the same narrative. That's they, what they, I well, they said in the identity of these characters going forward. Yeah, Luigi, when you play Smash Bros... Yeah, yeah. He's still got Dude, that little wiggle. Peach, Peach does the float, and, and the Luigi's float. still got that wiggly and, feet. And Pr- Peach pulls out the uh, vegetables. Yeah. That, yeah, that came from too. What? They all can pull the vegetables. I'm yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, Smash Bros. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, but like they, they based a lot of those... Um, those, those, those things, yeah, that's what he was yeah. saying. And so, I mean, and those have carried into. The and it, that brings us to our next question: Do they stand the test of time? I think Mario Brothers Two kind of does stand the test of time, not only the way it plays, but also what it has set in the future the, with the snippets and the shy guys. I mean, it 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 created a big chunk of the Mario universe as we that. know it. I mean, that's but, important. Kirby was the granddaddy, so it pretty kind of much created that that. It, well, it, not counting the, the the Game Boy one, but I could argue that Kirby. Did did set the tone for the mini games for his you know what Kirby is today? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I uh, do, they, do, they, do they stand the test of time? Yes. Both and which one do you think represents the console better? Ooh, I want to say Kirby. I yeah. want to say S to Mario again. Come back from that consciousness in in the gamers. I yeah. don't think many people. Uh, there's a lot of people didn't have two. It's gonna be, but it's gonna be hard to overcome. Mario as, as it is. I'd be I'd be yes. willing to say I, mean, I think it's pretty close to even, but I think I would I think the slight like the slightest edge goes to Mario two. I think so? I think so. Just yeah, just should, because it's Mario, yeah. and I feel like I mean I think every house I've ever gone to to play the NES with people uh, they they have Kirby, but they also have Mario two. Yeah, I yeah just that's feel a tough like, one. I feel like Mario two is just a little bit better of representing the console <laughs> as a whole. Um, See, I actually find differently. I, I find that um, Kirby was not really Kirby. For, from my in my experience, Kirby was more of a Game Boy game. You know, when when I thought of Kirby, I think of the Game Boy. I, I you know, that's just that. I mean, that's that's my own personal experience with that. Uh, you know, I mean, honestly, I don't really think it's all that close when it comes to the iconicness. To be honest, I think it's because Mario carries it so heavily. I think Mario. Oh, Mario's got wow. That's just. Wow, 
this is what this show is and, for. And look, 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 yeah. Look, look, I'm not trying to knock Kirby at all. I think Kirby is very iconic. I do. Um, and in fact, I think that Kirby's iconicness kind of... I really just think that Kirby, as an icon, shines much better on the Super Nintendo Game Boy as opposed to the Nintendo. And that's why I gotta go with, you know, Super Mario 2 in that, in, for that particular yeah, moment. I think, I, you, uh, I'll reveal who I'm picking I think, once, once I, that time I, comes. I think, um... Just with the age, when Kirby came out, it came out a little late on the console. Mm -hmm. I think also that might be, you know, a lot of people had already, moved on, had already moved on. I can see that. Um, but... That's a good point, Brian. Do you, you guys have any other points you want to bring up? No, I think I'm ready. You think you're ready to vote? Jacob, are I'm you ready, ready to, vote? to vote? Yeah, I can go first this time. All right, let's vote. Jacob. Kirby. You going Kirby? Yeah, I'm going, I'm Kirby. going Kirby. Yeah, I, and, and it's, again, this is another tough one, um, simply because I feel like... First off, there's a little bias in that Kirby was my... He's my first. No, Kirby was my first... The first Nintendo game to beat. The first NES game I could... I, I, mm -hmm. I didn't beat without a game genie. Meta Knight and DDD are in this Kirby game, right? Is Meta Knight in this one? Yeah, remember? You can get yeah, 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 yeah. the arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. That's what I'm saying. And I will agree that I think people... May, maybe Mario 2 is what people think of a lot more when they think of the NES... But I think, again, Kirby has that Mario Bros. 1 going for it. I think when people are thinking of Kirby, they're thinking of that one. That's the one that said that they didn't, you know, the, the Game Boy was great, but the Game Boy was limited. Yes, it's mechanics very and limited. What you could very, do in those platformers. Limited. Where this one was, I remember as a kid thinking, and this is where I wrap it up, I think as a kid, I remember as a kid going, I remember as a kid thinking this is innovative. I've already used that word, but like something along those lines like, oh my gosh, I can eat a thing and turn into a thing. And I'm having these boss battles where I can kill the boss and eat the boss, and now I have the boss's power. Like I remember thinking it that gives was you a little bit more of that, like that was a new flavor exploration. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You that think was, it kind of has its was, own identity a little bit more. That was new to that system, like at that point, you know. So a uh, quick, quick, quick uh, point I forgot to bring up: both these levels, no water. Uh, I mean, both these games, no water levels. Yes. No water levels. <laughs> can we talk about water levels? No water Kirby's levels. got water in his stages, he but no, he does a little spit. Yeah, yeah, but, but, no, it's not bad. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not, not a full level, dude. Kirby water levels are not bad. Steve. Man, how are you gonna pick against Mario though? Seriously, it's Mario. It's a, he's an icon. He's one of the greatest, one of the greatest faces of video games of all time. I mean, how are you gonna go against Mario like that, Jacob? It's, it's, it's a it's a good that's a good box. How art. are you gonna go against Mario? I mean, look at this box art. Look at this box art. Look that's how iconic box. that is. It's a good box look, art. you can't go against Mario. But you can. <laughs> but you can. I'm going with Kirby. You're going with Kirby? I'm going with Kirby. Ooh. I'm going with Kirby, and here's Whoa. why I'm going with Kirby. Because in all honesty, man, I love Mario. I do. But Mario 2, as 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 you know, as much fun as I had playing with it, it it's kind of lackluster in comparison to the other Mario games. I mean, you know, it's really cool that you get to experience it as, you know, other characters. And sure. they all have their own unique... The, their own unique... Uh, Abilities. I'm losing my train of thought. I'm so sorry. But the You're reality really is, that's what Kirby does to people. But, <laughs> but in reality, Kirby brought in a a new look on the icons. It was more more than just running and, and dodging enemies yeah, and jumping exact, on them and you, picking yeah. them up and stuff like that. It was you know you had to be tactical with it. You would go in as Kirby. Kirby could copy. You pick a new enemy and then you see something that you like and you're like. I need to so are you telling me that vegetables you pick out of the ground are not as tactical as eating something? Not quite. No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> no, that's why, in all honesty, I gotta go with Kirby. You know, Kirby. You know, I will admit that that Mario I, I Mario it. Bros. Two, 2 is more iconic than this game. But just the the fact that it's unique and it and it, and, it, and, it, and it just it's a new way to experience platforming as opposed to just being a little person running around jumping on stuff. You are jumping on stuff, but you're floating. And you're absorbing people, and you get to get new abilities that change your I think that's style. also a very important thing, is how, how you fight movement. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, I know there's only three of us, and everyone's vote counts no matter what. So, like, if, if I'm about to vote for Mario 2, I still want to explain why, even okay. though we already know it's, it's moving forward. But I'm Brandon, this is my show, so I'm overruling y'all, so... <laughs> I'm voting just for kidding. I'm voting for Kirby anyway. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's just better. It's just better. It's just a better game. It's a better game. You know, you know. I mean, you look at Kirby. You look at Mario too, and you Jacob. Say, man, Jacob good. said something. He said so, I can't remember what it was. He said something like in the beginning talking about Kirby, and I, I think my mind was set. Uh, I can't remember what it was. Yeah. And so, somewhere along the line, I was like, I'm picking. I mean, Kirby. look at him. He's pink. It's just like a he's a gabagoo. You want to pinch his cheeks? He's huh? like a gabagoo. You can't go against a gabagoo. All right, winner Kirby. Winner Kirby. Thank you. 
looks like victory was just a dream for Mario 2, and Kirby devoured the competition. Did Kirby deserve to win? Let us know down in the comments below, and of course, subscribe and share the show with everyone you know. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.